He's still the Prime Minister, though he's on borrowed time. George Papandreou went to see the President to discuss setting up a government of national unity, which would ensure Greece sticks to the terms of the latest bailout deal. I came to the President of the Republic to discuss and inform him of my intent to contribute significantly to a government of wider cooperation whose main goal will be to vote for the bill and the implementation of any steps necessary for the historical decisions of October 26. But the main opposition party says it won't cooperate. Its leader wants Papandreou to resign. We ask only one thing, to return to normality and elections so that we can stabilize the country, repair its image, so that we can get out of this nightmare as soon as possible. Some people expect this man, the finance minister, Evangelos Venizelos, to take over as prime minister in the coming days. But this is an unpredictable power struggle. Greeks don't know how long the political confusion will last or how it will end. In any case, many are thoroughly disillusioned with their leaders. Whatever iota of faith they still had in this political system, they have now lost. I think we're going to be seeing huge changes in the Greek political system in the months to come. But what's most important right now is that someone leads the country through this turmoil. The talks are going on in Parliament, but the political situation developing here in Athens is precisely what European leaders have dreaded these past two years. During that time, they've had a relatively stable Greek government to deal with, despite all the economic problems here. But now, that is changing, just when the financial situation needs urgent attention. Because Greece will run out of money again within weeks. The politicians have to come up with a solution, and quickly. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Athens.